Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I am coming back at you with our XCOM Long War Mass Effect mods announcement. Uh, we're not going to be playing anymore, and uh, I just want to—I just want to say this disclaimer here: we. Uh, we got to a mission. I think I think they called it Mission 103 in this campaign, and uh, it got it hung up again. It hung up again on the spinner, and I've tried everything. I've deleted mods. I've added mods. I've even reduced my mod count by about 50. And because uh, I was running close to 200 and now I'm at 147, uh, all the mods that I have on should have no effect on the game uh, except for a few of the mods like the Asari Adepts and the Psychic Changes. I would think those would be the ones that affected this or maybe a skin replacer like the Cerberus Sectopod or something. But this is what happened uh, a few weeks ago is we played and we got to a certain point and it wouldn't load. So I had to go back about three saves for it to start working again. And then we played a little while and then bam, it stopped again. So I have a feeling that there was something that got triggered in the game that um, is supposed to happen in the vanilla edition, but due to all the mods that I've added, it's preventing that from loading. That's a guess of mine, I don't know. So, so what I'm, I, I'm, I've got a couple of different options, a couple of different thoughts uh, that stay pretty close to what we're doing here. Um, I want to I want to play the long war because I've never finished it, right? I've never gotten super far in the long war. I've always gotten to a certain spot and then just decided to quit or got bored with it or something, right? Well this playthrough I was I was really getting into. Okay, so so here here are my here are my options, and then it you guys can vote on it. Um, maybe I'll put a poll on my community tab on my YouTube channel, and if you want to uh, put some input in there, um, I would appreciate that. Go ahead and put some input. So I I have three things three three directions that we could go that uh, for this series now that's not going to stop my flight sim series it's not going to stop my miniature painting series or anything like that just this turn-based style uh, style game series okay here here are the three choices that I think I have we can just scrap XCOM and play Phoenix Point, right? I have Phoenix Point, I've beaten Phoenix Point, but they've added some expansions that I have not included in my Phoenix Point playthroughs. So it changes the story and I, I haven't I haven't beaten Phoenix Point with all those. I've only beaten vanilla Phoenix Point. So if you want to see me play Phoenix Point, uh, which the game designer of Phoenix Point was the original game designer of the original XCOM series, uh, Gallup, right? Julian Gallup. And uh, in the XCOM in the new XCOM series, there is a room you can build. It's called the Gallup Chamber. They kind of named it after, you know, gave him a, a little shout out. 
but um, it's turn-based it's done a little bit differently you you kind of have the same kind of two action as XCOM 2 it's it's very similar to XCOM 2 but um, it's more dark it's more Lovecraftian um, it's XCOM 2 is more uh, XCOM 2 is more Star Trek if, if that makes any kind of sense where uh, Phoenix Point is more expanse if that makes sense right so there are there are some really nasty ugly looking aliens and it's got a very dark history I kind of I kind of dig it but I also kind of kind of gives me a little creepies you know uh, okay so that's that's an option is to play Phoenix Point okay another one would be to play something very loose into this genre which is XCOM Chimera Squad okay so I've got Chimera Squad and I've played it probably about 75 percent um, it's more of a story driven XCOM game you have a base which is really just a garage you've got a vehicle and you're in a city and you drive around you're basically XCOM cops XCOM police after the aliens have been defeated so you're in a city the aliens have been de defeated but aliens have been abandoned and left on this earth to fend for themselves and they've kind of been integrated into society and XCOM Chimera Squad is a bunch of those different aliens uh, in a police in a in a police squad it's kind of like um, police squad it's kind of comedy it's kind of comical actually but but it's but it's um, it is XCOM and it's made by the same people that made it XCOM 2 uh, but it's got a it's more of a cartoon uh, cell shaded animation it's not semi-realistic like what you're seeing on the screen it's more like a like a uh, like a comic book it looks more like a comic book uh, but that's a good that's a good good one I've never finished and that one I would really like to play and then there is the final option which I'm kind of leaning towards actually and that is taking all the mods back to square one erasing them all just basically reinstalling XCOM you know just cleaning house cleaning all the all the save files and everything just cleaning it completely out and then picking maybe 40 to 50 mods that are not necessary but would make it the most fun you know so like maybe not adding all this all these Cerberus mods maybe not adding all the Reaper mods even though that's kind of what I'm digging right that's kind of the whole XCOM Mass Effect thing but maybe taking all those mods out maybe throwing in a couple of weapon mods maybe a, a couple of voice mods a couple of outfits you know maybe maybe put the biotics in there that sounds good you know maybe put maybe put some n7 armor in there okay or whatever so making it kind of kind of very not vanilla but very light you know light on the mods uh, not not 200 mods I think that was probably too many maybe try to keep it under a hundred maybe I mean a hundred I think is 
I mean, if you think about it, I think that's kind of long, kind of hard. So set, I don't know how many mods, but try to keep them as few as possible and not duplicate them. And, and basically just maybe cosmetic mods, you know, and not game changer mods, you know, uh, and, but, but still include the long war, right? And then play a long war with a very light, lightly modified, not so heavily modified. Uh, and those are really my three choices. Um, I really want to play, I really want to finish a long war campaign. I really do. Um, but I don't mind the Phoenix Point. I really like Phoenix Point. I've got all the expansions, except for maybe the very last one. Um, yeah, because I was an early backer and I got like five of their DLCs included with my expansions. But I think the newest one I think was a fan fan made, and I don't think I have that one. Uh, but either way, I will play whatever I've got. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of maybe it's too dark for me. Maybe I'm too maybe I'm too bright or whatever. I might not enjoy it as much. But X and XCOM Chimera Squad, I would enjoy that. Um, mainly for the comedy. <laughs> Okay, so just tell me what you guys are wanting to do. Yeah, just tell me what you guys want to do. I'm going to put a little poll up. I'm going to let it run for a couple of days, uh, maybe a week. And then uh, maybe I will, In while I'm waiting for that poll to come back, I'll get the Phoenix Point Chimera Squad and XCOM Lite. XCOM mod light or you know uh, yeah mod light uh, ready so that as soon as you give me as soon you know like next week as soon as I see what what the uh, what the poll result is I'll already have it ready to go and I'll just jump right into it I think that's what I'm gonna do all right sorry this campaign didn't end the way I'd wanted it but um, I'll catch you in the next one.